Centaurus is one of the most famous constellations in the southern sky. Within this constellation is a galaxy that is the fifth brightest in the night sky. At a distance of 11 to 13 million light years from Earth and spanning 60,000 light years across, Centaurus A, also known as NGC 5128, is another peculiar elliptical galaxy. Unlike a typical elliptical galaxy that is smooth and featureless, Centaurus A has dark dust lanes and embedded within them are bright young blue stars. Long exposures of this galaxy using the Hubble reveals shells of stars. Astronomers theorize that what was originally an elliptical galaxy collided with a relatively small spiral shaped galaxy giving it the peculiar shape that we see now. Every large galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its center. The one at the heart of Centaurus A is 55 million solar masses. When all is well, that is when the galaxy is going about its business without having any major mergers, this supermassive black hole lies dormant, occasionally snacking on some stray gas clouds that wander too close to it, resulting in a momentary outburst of x-ray radiation. However, things are very different in a galaxy that is undergoing merger, like this one. Thanks to the merger, huge amounts of gas and dust get tossed into the supermassive black hole at the center. Black holes don't just devour the material as it is. Before falling into a black hole, material spins around it in an accretion disk. Here, particles orbit the supermassive black hole at nearly the speed of light, causing them to glow in x-rays. These are visible as quasars and they can outshine the host galaxy. Instead of falling into the black hole, a small fraction of particles get accelerated at a speed almost as great as the speed of light and get spun out in two narrow beams along the axis of rotation of the black hole. These jets are believed to be the sources of the fastest traveling particles in the universe, cosmic rays. In some cases, these jets extend beyond the galaxy on either side, ending in giant radio lobes that glow bright in radio waves and are far from the active galactic center. In the case of Centaurus A, they extend up to 250 kiloparsecs on either side of the galaxy before being slowed down by the intergalactic medium. Here is the moon in comparison to the size of the radio lobes of Centaurus A. In fact, Centaurus A is one of the largest extragalactic radio sources. The white dots are not stars, but background radio sources, each a huge galaxy like Centaurus A, but in the distant universe. Another stark reminder of the vastness of our cosmos. The radio source itself is very complex. Major components are the giant outer lobes extending to 250 kiloparsecs, the northern middle lobe without a southern counterpart extending to about 30 kiloparsecs, the inner lobes and the central jet extending to about 5 and 1.35 kiloparsecs respectively, and the compact core with the associated nuclear jets extending over 1 parsec. Remember the event horizon collaboration which gave us the first image of a supermassive black hole at the center of the elliptical galaxy M87? Back in July this year, the EHT managed to image the relativistic jets of Centaurus A at a 10-fold higher frequency and 16 times sharper resolution compared to the previous observations. The jets emerging from the supermassive black hole at the heart of Centaurus A are highly collimated with asymmetrically brightened edges. The source structure of Centaurus A was found to resemble the jet in Messier 87 remarkably well, 